Hello, my name is KK. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to manage your stress. So one of the first things you need to do off the muscle is you need to have an exercise routine. You need to get out of your house, okay? So yes, you can use your walking pad at home. That is fantastic. That is great. But there is nothing like walking outside or going to a gym. It is great to be able to see other people and have opportunities to mingle while you're getting exercise in because it's a two for one. So you need to be exercising every day, 30 minutes. Try to get in some exercise. It's going to help you reduce your stress. Second thing you need to do is reframe your thoughts. Reframe your thoughts. Positive thinking, affirmations, journaling, all these different things to help you change your mindset. That's my second tip. If you are asked to do something or someone provides an opinion of you that you didn't ask for or gives unsolicited advice, you need to ask yourself, do I value this person's opinion? You got to be able to discern who is for you and who is not for you. And that will help you reduce your stress because oftentimes the stress that we experience comes from outside sources. So if there are people in your life that you cannot eliminate, you can't separate from them for whatever reason, it might be a boss or something like that, you need to find ways to work around that. So that might mean you having to challenge your thinking in regards to your relationship with them and the things that they say to you. You can't just take it in and not have a filter for it. You can't just take in other people's opinion and not run it through the filter of, do I believe what they have to say about me? You got to know who you are as a person outside of your relationships, whether it's coworkers, children, your romantic relationships, whatever the case it be, you need to know who you are as an individual and that'll help you with filtering out information and whether it's serving you or not and whether it's beneficial to you or not. And the next tip goes right along with that. So number four, you need to set boundaries with folks. So you can practice saying no. Um, there's plenty of ways to say no. You can say, I don't think that's going to work for me. Um, I'm not interested in that. Um, that doesn't, you know, that's not in line with my goals for my life. Or you can just say no. So you might have to practice this at home. Think of scenarios and practice this at, practice it at home. Ways to say no to things that you don't want to do. Because a lot of times we bring unwanted stress because we agree to do things we really don't want to do. Number six, you need to eat healthier, which what else can we say about that? There's a whole bunch of different information about there out there about what eating healthy is. Um, the easiest way to eat healthy to me is get them fruits and veggies in. Get as, get as much fruits and veggies in and you'll be on your way. Everything else is up for this, uh, up for debate about carbs or no carbs, high protein, you know, vegetarian, vegan, uh, paleo, it's keto, whatever. The main thing is, is get those fruits and veggies in and you'll be ahead of the game. Number seven, you need to date yourself. I've already made videos about this. Dating yourself means taking yourself out, having hobbies, uh, going to dinner by yourself, going shopping, doing nice things for yourself, pamper yourself, self-care, getting your hair done, nails done, everything did, you know, whatever the case may be. Eight tip, the next tip is you need to go to therapy. Therapy is great. Um, and then the next tip after that is having a support group. You need to have people in your life that are supportive and encouraging. And the last tip I have, last tip I have is recognizing your triggers. This will tie right into going to therapy and having a support group because when you know your triggers, it'll be easier for you to manage your stress. Um, triggers meaning, uh, for example, do you get triggered when you're driving on the highway? Do you immediately feel stressed out because you know you got to make an hour long commute? Triggers meaning uh, when somebody calls you and you really don't want to talk to them, and but you got to figure out a way to get off the phone. Whatever the case may be, you, it's so many different triggers. Those are like pretty arbitrary, but those are things that you can figure out in therapy what your triggers are for anxiety and with stress. So I hope this video was helpful. I will holler at y'all in the next video. Bye.